All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a wonderful day. It was another red day in the markets, bringing us now to four consecutive down days in a row and the market down over four and a half percent for the month of April. So it was another wild one with a lot of reasons and even a little bit of yesterday catching up with us. But now what we got to talk about and the other factor of today earnings was in full effect. We had bad chip earnings out of ASML today. That was not well received. And now tomorrow we get TSM earnings in the morning and Netflix after the bell for tax. So we got a lot to talk about. I have a breakdown for Netflix earnings, what you should be expecting, what happened today, what we need to be watching for the rest of the week in the markets and all that good stuff. And even the plays I made today and what I need from you a thumbs up on the video make sure you're subscribed and if you don't know we are live monday through friday 30 minutes before open youtube.com slash the stock market we will see you there in the morning baby run it all right off the bat as far as today like i said we had a little bit of yesterday catching up with us and it seemed like a lot of people forgot what powell said yesterday there was those bad vibes he was a little bit more hawkish he said he was not confident by the recent data that weighed on the market today and if you're not familiar with why today was an interesting move to the downside not only is it that we had four down days in a row and we're starting to feel all of this pressure but this is going back now down to like February gap up levels that's when we got to hear from the Fed but if I pull it up on the TD Ameritrade I think you'll see it better Right now, today, you are right on the cusp of 5,000 flat on the SPX. Yes, a couple of weeks ago, you were just at 5,200, but now it is 5,000. This is a key level, and people are even just talking about technical momentum in all of that. So for us to go down and get near that level, it's one thing that we didn't break it, but why we got brought in down today, I think one big factor was Powell. We do have to keep our eyes on if he is going to be keeping this up at his further speeches, these new hawkish vibes, we'll find out. But the other factor of today besides that, it was earnings. And I think this is going to be a strong emphasis that you're going to want to watch to see how it plays out because there were some very unique factors of what happened today. So the story is that ASML earnings was not good and that it is not good for the chip makers. A lot of the chip makers, they traded lower today. And really what happened, ASML, they beat on their earnings for this quarter but their guidance for next quarter was bad and people were getting worried about a couple of things in certain areas and looking ahead for the future so why I'm bringing this up and emphasizing this because we've seen a lot of this even JP Morgan so far companies have beat this earnings. They have done better than expected from last quarter. And a lot of these companies have rallied leading into it, but they are missing on guidance or small little factors here. And that's what we're seeing. And I would be on the lookout for this because tomorrow TSM, it will have the ability to get the market and other sympathies moving and how people feel about the chips, but then also Netflix too. It could really start moving the market in a bunch of things, but the thing you have to keep in mind is that these companies can beat, but if the future growth numbers are not expected to be that high people will not reward this stock. And that's something we've seen before, but coming off all this optimism, maybe we need a little bit of a reminder of that. So that's what we had today. It was a mix of Powell and earnings. You had earnings. I think you had UAL. They were actually really good. And that's something to give you, to end on a positive note. If you have a good earnings, you will get rewarded. And you saw that with UAL. They had their best day since March of 2020. So there was a couple of other names that traded lower, but in general, this is what brought us lower we didn't close near the lows and now it's setting us up for the main event with earnings and before we get into that we'll talk about that with Netflix I hope you guys see it the delay has struck in or strikes again equities were red today bonds were green yesterday the bonds were red hitting a high and equities were green and then 
closed barely red but this is that delay we've been saying where sometimes they're not watching reactions data's coming out the bond market's making these big moves and then equities are in la la land ignoring it but then the next day we're getting that follow-up well seems like we had a little bit of that today because the bonds did not go lower while we proceeded to hit a new low of the week and month and now we're going to go back and forth with the data and i'm sure they're going to match up eventually here so Pay attention to that. I think it's very important because with everything else going on, if it's not earnings, just don't forget what's going on here with rates and interest rates and where they're at now. That has been adding some pressure here. But now to the final key in the main event, man, two stocks control the whole market. Netflix and TSM, I think they're going to determine the rest of the week. All we have is Thursday and Friday. Next week, we're going to get into like ISM data and then close it out with PCE and get even more companies. But you saw how the vibes were set today after a couple of companies reported, even last week, a little bit with the banks there as well. So Netflix and TSM, TSM in the morning, Netflix after the bell. I think that will determine a lot of sentiment. I would pay attention if there is any effects on the bonds and then how people set up in the next week. But if people get any bad signs from this, they are going to use their imagination and the market will either pay for it or benefit off of it. So don't forget that. The only other factor to watch out for, there's some data coming out of China and Japan that may have a broader effect. But I do think our markets have been stealing the show as of lately. Not to mention the global tensions, but you'll notice... Oil got clapped today, and none of the oil plays or oil plays, war plays really move. So we'll see if there's any other updates there to end the week. But besides that, get ready for the earnings. We'll see what the bonds do. Maybe if the Fed speakers, there's a couple of those tomorrow, what they throw in. But it's earnings season now. So now let us get into the play. So uh, right off the bat, like I told you, these two plays are going to determine everything and good news, bad news, bad news. I got nothing for TSM on you because they are going to report in the morning. And like I'm saying here for both of them, as far as plays are concerned, I'm not going to make a Netflix play, but I do think Netflix is going to be very important. I would be down to play both of these after and both of them. I think last earnings, they did have post earnings plays you could have taken advantage of even this morning. The UALs, they went absolutely insane saying man you could have snagged some of those for twenty dollars and you could have played the post earnings without ever having to play the earnings so both of these kind of have high premiums think there's a lot riding on them i am not going to play a play beforehand but now for netflix after the bell here is the thing you got to keep in mind i don't know if you guys remember we were talking about netflix going up to 600 well it kind of did that easily after that earnings, and it has been holding up pretty well. And remember, we were talking about a lot of different factors. Well, all of those factors still apply coming into this earnings. The number one thing people want to look out for, believe it or not, just like the good old days, subscriber growth. Netflix has been surprising in terms of how many people they've been signing up, the paid memberships, how they have been getting people on that password sharing, and all the upside for how much more they still have to do with that. That was a very, very big driver last earnings. I think this is going to have a very big effect. The next big effect is going to come down to their ad business. Remember, there was hype stuff leading into their last earnings on how it was doing. Well, there's a lot of data coming out and they're just rolling it out. They're even giving out metrics. We want to see how they were able to scale that, the margins and how that is doing. That is a very good thing. And then finally, like we've talked about even leading into the 600s, don't forget, yeah, Netflix has already been here. A lot of other names have been breaking out. And I mean, you see this move and it's been over a year of everyone saying Netflix is going to fail on earnings, fail on earnings. Remember, that, there's a reason why they dropped, but the last earnings, they haven't shown any signs of that. But this is now their like all time high breakout earnings. So it will be very key from a momentum standpoint. And if they can actually perform the problem, they're pricing in anywhere from like eight to 10%. It's probably going to move two, 3% even off the morning tomorrow or or if it does absolutely nothing, then no pre-earnings for you, but... 
point is Netflix is going to be important and that will determine sentiment, everything from ad spend all the way down to consumer and it won't be permanent. So even though I'm saying these guys control the market, it won't be permanent. I do think TSM will probably have a broader, bigger effect, but in general, there will be a lot of sympathies and this is what usually kicks off and gets earnings going and gets the premiums moving. So we will see what happens, but no play for now. Looking for the post earnings. That is play number one, then play number two. Got to take you back down here to Snap and Meta. So they have earnings right around the corner, and today they had a pretty decent reaction to some TikTok news. There was news that Congress is fast-tracking the TikTok ban bill. I don't think they're going to ban TikTok. I really, I don't think that's a good election move. Uh, shout out to Chad. Shout out Candy. She brought that up today, and it really, you know, we're getting more into that, but that news got brought up again, and just like last time when Snap and Meta got the news of TikTok getting banned, they went up a decent amount. So they have earnings right around the corner. Snap is trading lower than their last one. Meta is holding up like Netflix. So uh, we'll see where this one plays out, but I would keep your eyes out depending on the sentiment set by Netflix and what we get tomorrow. You can start looking in advance. So watch out for that. That's play number two. And then finally, I feel kind of bad. These are all pre-earnings. Another one, Procter Gamble, man. I like it. Yeah, so I got to put this on the list, man, a value play. We even talked about this beginning of the year, and it ran a lot, and this play wasn't supposed to hit on the last earnings, and we actually hit. So I think it's a better one for pre-earnings because it's not supposed to move a lot for earnings. They report on Friday. Like I said with uh, Netflix there or Snapchat, pay attention to the Netflix sentiment. This could give us something to feed into, and then maybe – we will get a play from there. So other than that, my only other play that I'll be watching, it's the play that I made today, and I decided to grab a 100 shares of Arma. Why? Because I put it on the watch list. I was telling you guys about 102 or 122, and I thought it would bounce off there and hold into earnings until the analyst came about, but that didn't hold. So I didn't buy it right away. I actually waited until like 1.14 in the morning. This was one of the, I guess, the negative effects of being early in the morning. And then it dropped to 107. This is pretty much where it opened up at. Second day after that, earnings 102 is the next level. Then 94. I don't know if it breaks below. That'd be insane. But then again, there's already a couple of companies who did that. But going to play this for a flip. And I plan on pretty much holding this until they report and selling out beforehand. And I'm hoping I could benefit off of some of the other sympathies. So TSM will probably drive this one tomorrow. So I grabbed 100 shares, 114 or 113.99. We will see where that takes us. Other than that, Still in the gold short, did a lot better today, uh, but still going to be riding that out, and we don't really have any big data that should even move it, so got some flexibility there, just holding it down, like I said, only been up on it for a little bit of time. Oil, I'm glad I didn't get into that one, but watching out for those plays, other than that, it's going to be a couple of these earnings, still in those buyout plays like JWN, and riding them out and seeing where they take us, and then maybe we'll see, get a surprise from Powell or earnings, which one first, I don't know, but... That is your watch list, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure Hydra Healthy ready to go. Make sure post your watch list. Make sure we see you there in the morning. I need the armor on. I need the helmet shining. And I need you to remember, baby, you got to have some truth to live by. That's it. Every man will be a liar, but what's the truth you live by, baby? I hope you find something because it's good. And the truth is you got potential, dog. You got value. You got something that you can make, baby. So let's go. But, Chad, I will see you in the morning. Stay hydrated, healthy, all that good stuff and horn. <laughs>